We are back. I am back. Mr. Hudson, I missed you yesterday. Thank you for taking announcements with Ms. Ingram. I appreciate you. It is day two of our specials rotation. It is Friday. Can you believe, Mr. Hudson, that there are two weeks left in virtual learning? I can't oh, my believe. goodness. The time is flying, Mr. Bland. Time is flying. But I am so impressed from our students and our staff and everybody who's been doing all the work. And we are so excited to welcome those back that are coming on the 26th. And for those that are going to remain virtual, we're still going to have a great experience for you. But it's day two. Let's get started. Boys and girls, you know what to do. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Continuing with our Hispanic Heritage Month, and believe it or not, we don't have many days left, but we love honoring and learning about different Hispanic Americans. And today, we are talking about actually a Mexican painter, Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo was a Mexican painter known for her many portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. Inspired by the country's popular culture, she employed a naive folk art style to explore questions of identity, post-colonialism, class, and race in Mexican society. And she has a number of very famous paintings. You will see her all around. And I believe she painted that one right there. That is a self-portrait of Frida Kahlo. Beautiful. All right, boys and girls, don't forget October is National Bullying Prevention Awareness Month. We've got a lot to talk about. We've always talked about stopping bullying and we are excited to continue with this message from Morris Brandon. And let's see what we're gonna talk about today, Mr. Hudson. So as Mr. Bland just said, it's National Bullying Awareness Month and the IB learner profile attribute of being open-minded ties right into being socially aware. And one of the things that we should keep in mind when we're going over our tips today is keep in mind that everyone is different. Not better or worse, just different. So if we can recognize that amongst each other, then we take away the thing that most people use to bully someone about. Most people use bullying as a means of pointing out someone that's different and then making fun of them. We should never do that. So that's another tip so that we don't bully in our school. All right. Favorite part of the announcements, Mr. Hudson. Why does a seagull fly over the sea? Um, looking for fish? I don't know. Well, if it flew over the bay, it would be a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. I love it. So we have some birthdays for tomorrow. And Sunday, we don't have any Friday birthdays today, but happy birthday to Derek, Elijah, Grace, Carson, John, and Emerson. Have a great day. All right, parents, really quickly listen up. Don't forget, please, please return your intent forms by October 12th. We understand you want to know more of a plan. I can tell you we have a plan. It's a great plan but we cannot share it until we know the amount of our students that are returning. So after October 12th, you will be defaulted to virtual learning. Please fill out your survey and let us know your intent to return. Make sure you read a special B-mail that'll be coming out from me today that's gonna give you a little more clarity around that. Also, don't forget in the B-mail, we're gonna talk about some new asynchronous days that are actually starting next Wednesday. So beginning on 1014, our students are gonna be learning off the computer on Wednesdays. So please be prepared to make arrangements as necessary beginning next Wednesday and every Wednesday following that until further notice. Also next Wednesday at 10 a.m. per my principal communication plan will be a principal coffee talk and we're gonna talk about some important notes around the reopening model at Morris Brandon. Hudson, it is Friday. I wanna to get to some learning. Have a great day, great weekend. And I'll see you guys, what, next Wednesday? See you then next Wednesday. Have a great day, students. And a great long weekend.